Okay, what is binary coding? You all saw this and you said, what are you hacking today? Nothing, but we are going to learn what those zeros and ones are, okay? I liked starting this lesson with a place value understanding in base 10. For fourth, fifth, sixth grade students, we're talking place value all the time. We're always working in place value. Okay, what is this? Aiden? It's, um, it's a um, place value chart. Place value chart. What do I know about place value? We use place value every day in math, right? Mm -hmm. All of our lessons, we're somehow talking about place value. Fourth grade, we started the whole year with that entire module on place value. Remember we had to say those numbers, standard form, word form, expanded form. Fifth grade, you're still doing place value, but with decimals. decimals. Sixth grade, you do a combination of all of it, right? You're doing all four operations in place value. So to see how we go from base 10 to a place value in base 2 and be able to relate those things and those patterns of times 10 or times 2 makes it relevant for them, they understand it, and it helps them see those patterns as we continued with binary. So we know that when we look back at this chart, where it is matters. And each number this way is how much bigger than the one before it? 10, Ten times greater. And if I go backwards, this number is, Ben? Uh, one tenth. Ah, yes, I thought you were gonna say 10 times less, but one tenth of the number in front of it. Whew, but what about base two? Just look at this, and just look at it for a minute, and raise your hand if you see some observations about this. This is a place value chart for base two. What are some things that you can observe about this? Kylie? There's exponents. Okay. Do we still have exponents on a base 10 chart? We just didn't show it on that one. They're still there. Yeah. Anybody else notice anything about this chart? Jordan? It um, doubles. Mm. Okay. Jordan says it doubles. Mm -hmm. Do you see any familiar words? What about here? Mm -hmm. What's place? One's place, two's place. So it still has place value. But it doesn't go up by 10 anymore. It goes up by 2 times 2. Base 2 kind of makes sense when you think of it that way, right? Still see the place value chart like we were working with a minute ago? It's just scaled down a little. But this is the 1's place, 2's place, 4's place, 8's place, so on. Okay, now, if I do this, our first instinct might be to read this as 101, mm -hmm. but that's base 10, so this is base two. So this is not 101. This has a one in the fours place, a zero in the twos place, and a one in the ones place. So I add them together like expanded form. So 101 is really the number five. Do we see it? Yeah. I know, it's kind of wild. So one, 0, 1, base 10, that we would just look at that and we would say, a kindergartner could tell you that's 101. But base 2, that's really 5. So what form are we using here to figure that out? Addition. Which is, what, what do we use addition? What form do we use? Standard or expanded or written? This is just expanded form, right? Let's go... So if we added some commas in here for base 10, this would be 100,101, mm -hmm. but it's really just 37. 32. 32, a one in the 32's place, a one in the four's place, and a one in the one's place gives us 37. What was the big difference between base 10 and base two? Anna Marie, what was different in base 10 and base two? Yep. What else was different? Addison, how much greater or less is a number in base 10? One tenth. Yeah, one tenth or 10 times. But in base 2, Ben, it was only? It was um, times 2. I think computer science is more accessible in the classroom than teachers think. It's things you're already doing. It's patterns. It's algorithms. It's steps. 
your kids are already familiar with a lot of it and they're better at a lot of it than we are. We think that they are and they're ready for more of it, but you don't have to have screens to do it. You can do plenty of it with no screens. You can learn lots of it before you ever introduce a screen into your classroom. So it's not as scary or as intimidating as you might think right away.